Hello, this is Mr. Inadequate, and uh, this is Asterix Imperium, my minor 49er character, Prospector. Uh, as you can see, I have been playing offline. I've got his cash total up to 14,595,935 mon or credits or whatever you want to call them. Hold on. Now, I have also done some things. I've got minor basic up to four, laser up to two, minor advanced up to four, passive scanners up to just one, focal range up to one, cycle, minor cycle mechanics up to plus 4.5. 5%, which is one utility ship and then the ship gyroscopic control up to one which in turn allows you to do thruster systems which I have up to four which is plus 47 now it's giving him 49 meters per second uh, for a utility ship not an escort escorts faster uh, it will slow down when I go up to frigate and then cruiser now Going to university. Get rid of this. Now, frigate. I have. Well, I didn't see it on there, but I do have frigate ship operation trained to one. Now, if I get 21 more skill points, I can do cruiser. And then 27 after that, and I can do carrier. That's a total of 48. I don't know if I can find it under here. Changes sometimes. There's a mining frigate. Looking for the carrier, mining carrier. That's a utility. That's a pirate carrier. Yeah, they don't have a uh, mining carrier right now, but carriers run around eight or nine million. I have well enough money to buy one, and they usually yeah, they usually give you six turrets, six passives a lot of cargo space and drones now theoretically i don't know if this is really true but theoretically i would probably have to train drones too but i could have six mining turrets which would make <laughs> any rock go fast six passives and then six drones to do my combat i would have to experiment with it but that is what i'm thinking of trying to do so i need 48 skill points to be able to fly a carrier. You get four skill points per mission usually. And so that means 12 missions, which I'm going to work on. I don't know if I'll do all 12. I can do three missions at a time. I usually don't do more than two, and it depends. I try to get missions that. <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of pollen in there. <coughs> I try to get missions that are doing the similar things going to the same place. So let's see, we got head to Whitsed Servo and pick up a cargo and bring it back to uh, here where we are. Oh, what I could do, no. What I could do is go there and pick up the cargo, come back, mine the ore, and then bring them all in, which would give me seven. It would give me eight skill points, which is what I should be worried about. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do the one.
Oh, it must be. I gotta head there and come back. So, let's see. Yeah, okay. So we have to go here. And from there we can go to, uh, we'll say Servo. Servo, whatever. Uh, pick up all those stilliums. Hoping I have enough cargo space for it. I'm pretty sure I do. Usually the cargoes aren't don't weigh that much. And then I'll see if I have uh, something that'll bring me back here. Just bouncing between star systems, doing one or two missions at a time. I'll get my 12. Let me see something. 48 I need. Skill points. I already have 9, so I only really need 39. So 10. I could do 10. And probably have enough skill points to do what I want to do. Uh, we're there. Yeah. Now looking at the ship, I have three laser, or three mining lasers and one regular laser, two cargo extensions, and a thruster, which also helps with the speed. It's slow. I haven't met any enemies yet. I haven't gone far enough out. I've only gone four or five systems out. You know, looking for the best bang for the buck. It's always good to get the skill points. But the more money you make, the better it is. I still don't know where I have to go to get the better mining lasers, or maybe I need another skill for them, I'm not real sure, but I haven't seen them, so I don't know what skill level I would need. I'm not sure that you have to get the skill level before they pop up or what. I figured I'd put this video out. I am thinking of starting another game, and going, it's an older game, Tropico 6 and going through the tutorial and everything just trying to learn it and then i'll do one of the scenarios and once i open a good one up there is one i already have opened up because i have the dlc and that's the llama of wall street and i have watched an excellent video on that and how the person who set it up pretty much sets up everything else first then works on the scenario which is a way to do it. Because if you got a lot of money coming in, you can fund doing the tasks they want you to do. But they do research on it. Like, he sets up his farming. He sets up huge plantations of different crops first. And you have to be able to study that. You can't just do it live. You have to study how to set it up. And then go in and tape the video of you actually doing what you have studied, you know, because you need to put each plantation in its own fertility zone, and he does like, he'll take three, do a roll, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, maybe, in the available land. And you have to be able to figure out how to do that, which combination you want, which way, so as to best harness the fertility. And you're doing that for the multicultural, well, as far as the plant cultures are concerned, it's better if there's a lot of different things around it, it increases the proficiency. So I will try to get into that. I might play first and then worry about taping it. I'm trying to slow down a little bit on 
Just do, I just want to do one video a day instead of many. Because like this game, I'm thinking the Tropical 6 is going to take longer than a half hour video for each episode. Just something, you know, rather than making a uh, channel update, I'm just putting it in here in case somebody's listening. And if you have any comments, there's another game you want me to play. Talk to me in the comments about it. And I'll see what I can do. If I have the game, fine. If not, I'll check out how much it costs. I primarily play Steam games. Not really interested in trying to do games on other servers. That's just the way I am. And, uh... You know... I have more than one server. I like to have all my games in one place so I know where they are. And Steam, it may not be perfect, but it, it's, in my opinion, is better than the rest. And that's my opinion. Other opinions may vary. So we want to get these. We want to check missions. See if there's something that I can also get to take back to uh, that's, um, that's a time of year I've got 4 hours to get well 3 hours and 56 minutes to get back there so it isn't like I have to be in a rush see how much cargo space this takes up first See if that little bug takes place. The one where you get almost to 600 meters and it stops instead of uh, going into the station. I don't think it's happened on uh, any of my recordings as of yet. Usually it just happens when I'm messing around on my own. It's not slowing down. No, nope, we came in. Okay. Storage. Helium. Oh, that's an ore, huh? Okay, now missions. How much did that take up? 200. We're going to take this one. Undock. Now, where is that ore? There it is. Now I could hit this and turn them on, but then I'd have to turn that off. Six one away, half dozen the other, in my opinion. Yeah. So we'll get this ore and then we'll head back to visit time of year. And you'll notice when I do this, I mine the whole special add to my ore just to get it off the map. I should have more than enough room. Make sure my volume's up. Yep. Sometimes I don't have the volume on loud, and I apologize for that. So, I should get eight skill points when I get back to Oak and Vezatama here. That'll give me 17. I think if it's 21, which I seem to remember it is for the next ship type, I will uh, only have one mission left before I get the next ship type. And then I gotta 
do more missions to get carrier. I think it's cruiser than carrier. Okay, so we go back to Zalisker. And from there to visit time of year. Now, quickly, max mission contracts, mission negotiations. Those are good ones to pick up. That gives you more contracts, that gives you more money and stuff. You know, I like getting my mining up because I'm a miner. Getting my speed up because I'm semi-defenseless and uh, getting the missions and the payment for the missions and stuff like that and also as I can getting laser up. I don't particularly want to get other weapons because then you got to carry ammunition with you and that's cargo space and uh, I don't want to do the cargo space. Transport and mining missions are what I'm concentrating on. Sometimes you can get a very lucrative transport if you're going to a system you haven't been to before. They usually add a, a bonus. Now, okay. Now, as far as levels are concerned, I'm closing in. I've only got three, less than 3,000 XP to get the next level, which will bring me to level 9. That's a good way to get skill points, too. Leveling up. And you can do that just by mining the rocks. In fact, I might do that if I'm a point shy or something. Go out. See if, I'll, if it isn't that far to level up, do that to level up, get, get the skill points I need. Now, if I'm like four skill points off, you know, you would definitely get that, but it depends on how far you, off the level you are. Might have to mine a lot of rock, might be easier just to do the mission. And these are just my insights into this game. There are other people who play it a lot better than me, I'm sure. Concentrate on things like fighting and know more about fighting than I do. But even in EVE, I was more of a miner than a fighter. Which is not to say in EVE I didn't get into wars and pilot ships, do some PvP. Usually the PvP was a result of uh, standing guard over other miners in a fighting ship that I have, like a cruiser or something, and fighting someone who was trying to gank them while they could get away. I fought one guy to a standstill who had far more experience than me in a somewhat better ship. All my miners got away, and then I took off, docked. He hadn't finished me off. He was somewhat upset that I cut off the fight. But the point of the fight was to let the miners escape. And so I counted that as a victory. I accomplished my goal. You know, sometimes the goal isn't to beat your enemy. It's to get the mission done. 
depends on what the mission is. Sometimes the mission is beat the enemy. Sometimes it's to cover a retreat. And if you get away too, hey, mission accomplished. He hung around and he sulked in local channel for a while. Called me a coward. Well, you know. Michael. The core I belong to got a big laugh out of it. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's doing it. See, it's stuck at 604.3 meters, so... Click on this. Click back on Oak. Usually I do it a little quicker than that, but I should go right in. And I do it. So that's the workaround in case you find that little problem. So I got... Now I'm up to 15 mil. I got four. And let's look at... Oops. So I got 1,500 experience points. Now, first we're going to sell this. Just to get it out of my hold. Pick up another 3,000. Not much, but it's a plus, not a minus. So, I want to look. So you can see I am... Um, 1.24... One thousand two hundred and fifty, we'll say, away from my next level. Now, if I do another four point mission, one mission for four points, let me check garage for sometimes you have to repair your, yeah. Okay, mission. That well, might be nice. Huh. That's really the only one. So we'll go do that. How much do I have? 17. Yeah, so I'm four off. So we gotta go back to uh it's like servo. And then come back here, but I don't know if I'm gonna stop into uh I might just come right back as opposed to uh stopping into the station there and seeing if there's another mission. Because if I get four skill points, that should be enough to train cruiser. And that's what I'm really after. And it's just a back and forth motion. Now I did notice something. I don't always do it. If I wanted to go back to that's the time of year. If I click right in that, what is it? Hexagon. It'll set me going back there. Whereas at that time I clicked on the, the, purple, the pink one and then I had to click on it again to get it to go there. One activates it, the other one sets you there. But if you just click right in the middle of that, I have found that you end up going there. So we'll get back to Whitset Severo, find the ore, mine it, and come back. And uh, set our training for cruiser, and then we'll work on the 27 points we need to, uh, skill points. For carrier. Now. Yeah. Was that like six? Six missions. Yep. 
Math is not my best week. These early systems are usually fairly tranquil. You don't have to worry about raiders. You might have to worry about marauders because I do understand that there are marauder events. I just haven't witnessed one in since I came back to this game. If I have, if I get the carrier and I get the, uh, I think it was six turrets. I'll probably do three and three. Three mining lasers and three uh, laser turrets and the drones. And then I'll just concentrate on skilling up. Because I won't need enough. I'm not going to worry about a dreadnought. A mining carrier would be what I want. I don't know. I will have to go looking for one. No, that pirate carrier could work. Yeah, this should be ready to pop. Yep. Okay. There it is. So we'll, let, we'll mine this, and we'll go back. And I should be able to uh, have my, I believe it's cruiser training going. Skip cruisers. All I really want is care. Then I can skill up to have the better weapons and better mining equipment, better thrusters, better drones, things like that. I'll concentrate on that. Oh, in case you guys haven't seen this ship. That's the ship I'm flying right now. Now. I think I did show you the stats. You can pause it and look at that if you want. Here's a EU-2 utility miner. Now, I do realize... When I get the carrier, much bigger ship, it's going to be a lot slower. But if I have three lasers and drones, let them come to me. I'm going out there to mine ore. You want to fight with me? I got a carrier? Fine, go ahead. I've got enough money now I could buy two carriers. And quite frankly, once I get the carrier, I will probably invest in a mercenary. If I'm going to go in an area where there are marauders or are pirates, raiders, whatever, I will uh, bring a mercenary to fly escort for me. You can find them in a lounge under mercs in a station. Some stations have them, some stations don't. As usual, we'll mind this whole thing. Shoot about, what about, yeah. Well, we're going to take the whole thing. See if I can prove what I said. Now, if I click in here, it should turn the ship around and add it for Zalsberg. And it does. Or as we just click over here somewhere, it won't. You have to double, you have to click once, and then when the pink goes up, you have to click again. You click right in that hole. And it'll turn around and head you towards there. Uh, 
Now I've been to that system and the system beyond that system. They're all linear in this one. When, when uh, you can go in, once you're in a system like this system, there's a way back and a way forward. don't believe I've been beyond a system that's been beyond that. Might have. And there occasionally might be, I think the system beyond this has two other gates, but one of them leads to a dead end, one way in, one way out. But this is just me working, trying to get uh, my carrier. I built my money up. I mean, 15 million in this game is probably nothing. I haven't really uh, gone exploring for the better ores. There's some gradient. Gradient doesn't really pay that much different than that. Uh, I haven't seen any. I'm, I'm not sure if it begins an L or T. It might be Torn ores the next one after gradient. After that, I don't know. I find this game very relaxing. If I'm tense, it kind of calms me down. Far more than last epoch or uh, EU. You know, something to play. Three months until Crusader Kings 3 comes out. There's a couple other games I got on my wish list. The Ascent, Baldur's Gate 3, I think it is. And a couple others that aren't on my wish list, but I'm keeping an eye on. I try not to pay $60 for a game, though. So we go. <coughs> See if this gives me what I need for uh for visit. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about the coffee. Oh, let's turn our uh miners off. Lately, everything's been blue, and I'm a heavy smoker. So between the allergies and my smoker's thoughts, I blew up on me. I'm not one of those smooth boys, very enthusiastic, charismatic YouTubers. I'm just a guy, old guy at a cat, who likes to play games, and decided that since I can, I will share them. I'm not great at playing them. Sometimes I do, at some games I do better than other games. Uh, Grim Dawn I used to be very good at. I haven't played it in a while. <coughs> <coughs> I have beaten the, the vanilla boss several times on the first hardness. You work your way through hardnesses. Uh, I've yet to beat the second the DLC boss. And there's one point I get to that I just, there's a, like a mid-level boss and I can't get past him. He just kills me every time. And I've tried different builds and it's just, I think it's my necromancer that gets there. And he can't make it past that. Let's see if I go in this time. 
you know, and I figured, however I've approached narrating these games in the past, I was very new at it at first, so I'm just trying to chat like I would be chatting with a friend. I think I, uh, yes I did, I leveled. So let me see, well first of all, let me see. sell this extra ore here. I'm going to go to university. Ah! I should only be missing four skill points to get carrier trained. Let's see. Ship. Now how long is this going to take? Okay. Yep, I'm going to miss four. So I need to do one more mission to uh, train up the carrier. Now, lounge. News, entertainment, perks. Entertainment. You can throw parties for your entire fleet. That's 10% morale. Live music. 20% morale. 7% 7 7 loyalty bonus. Etc. 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 Mercs. You never know. Like, okay, there's no mercenaries for her here. So that's how it's at. Now. Yeah, we're almost done here. Okay. I can fly a cruiser now. Carriers open up. I just need four more skill points. Let's see if there's a local mission. Chat. Find. Scan. Hunt. Hunt. Locate. 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 Are you? Okay. Yeah, I got a long, long way to go. Nine thousand. Right around 9,000 XP. No, that would take too long to do just mining. So, what we're going to do? Uh, dock. We'll go to the next system and see if there's a mission. Mining or transport. I could do the scanning missions. I wanted to invest in a scanner, but maybe when I have my carrier, I'll feel more comfortable doing it, because I don't know how much that might get me in trouble with the faction I'm spying on. So we're going to head out here, see if we can do a mission and get carrier training. And then i got to find the carrier I want to buy. So we'll go to what? Keywords. And we'll just uh, mosey on over there. I can't wait until uh, next Monday when they take the stitches out of my hand that I had uh, operated on. My finger is really doing good on doing my exercises. I'm being a good boy. So we'll see if there's a mission here. I'll also look and see if there's any works to show you the works. I do believe they come with their own ship. Remember, I fired them in the past, a long time ago, when I was first playing this game. I was first in early access. It seems to me they had their own ship. I was doing a campaign then, so I don't really remember.
preciso. Eu só me sinto bem só, só uma longa. I can't wait to see how slow my carrier is. Okay, let's get in here. See what we can find. Hopefully there's a mission that I can do. thousand meters. There goes somebody. Hopefully I can find one in this system that just requires me to mine. Something simple, but I'll do a transport too. make it without having to, we made it. Okay, so first, as I promised, see now I have, there's a pirate and there's a support. He's got an assault shuttle, <laughs> okay. He's only 500 payroll though. And this one, she's uh, got a support carrier. Wow. That's why she's twice as expensive. Yeah. Okay. Any missions? Collect, collect. Okay. That's nice. This is better. So... Go to the next system out. this and we go back to the station in the same system with the ore yeah I find this a game that you got to get a little used to slow yourself down a little bit uh, when combat finds me I'll have no uh, problem dealing with it, but right now I would like, you know, as I stated at the beginning, today's mission is about getting carrier trained. Once I get carrier trained, then I gotta find a good carrier and fit it. I 
much more. Here's the world with the repair anything. As usual, I won't mind the whole house. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, take some use, getting used to this game. They hid the toggle after when we way over there. I took some time off the, the uh, mission. Wish I'd remembered that. Okay. So we got that started. Yep. Shipyard. Now this pirate carrier here, six and six, forty three hundred uh storage, six drones. I could probably use it. It would leave me with four million. What's this? Wow, five turrets and eight passes. No drone, sir. to destroy it. Huh. It may take me a while. No, there isn't that. Okay. So I can now... Yeah, I can... Oh, okay, yeah. Now I can uh, fly carriers. So I'm going to have to find one. And I hope you enjoyed me uh, getting the skill points to go from uh, utility, or actually frigate, through cruiser to carrier so I can fly a carrier. Uh, this is Mr. Inadequate signing out. And uh, my next video on Astrox Imperium, I'll show you the carrier that I found. Thanks for watching.